So my latest purchase has been the Days of Future Past Steelbook and that was from HMV and I certainly think this is a better cover than the box standard Blu-ray. I think the cover art is a lot prettier and on the back there it has the Trask logo. And then just inside we've got two discs just here. Ta-da! Swivel it around. The beautiful James McAvoy there with Patrick Stewart, Sir Patrick Stewart. And then just on the other disc, I will just swivel that around because it's easier. We've got Fazbender and Ian McKellen. I really enjoyed this film. I think it's one of the best X-Men films that there is. Uh, I just find this one is more up my street, basically. Um, but I won't go into a full-on review about the film because I've already got one out there comes with a basically an app that you can have to get all the latest news on X-Men if you're dying to know uh, everything there is to know about X-Men so there's just basically like information there on the app and um, for all of those people that don't wish to buy themselves uh, you can give to a friend and it's got the ultraviolet in there as well so uh, there you go uh, which I'm sure my dad will be very pleased about so yeah, we've got digital HD ultraviolet. Now, the special features in this baby. Uh, basically, some nice features in there. We've got some featurettes with interviews from the cast and uh, nothing too special. It highlights how they did certain scenes. They, the one that I specifically liked is the kitchen scene with Quicksilver. They uh, basically show you the making of that and that's really interesting because Quicksilver is my favourite character in Days of Future Past and that kitchen scene is definitely what I consider the just the best scene of 2014 of any film. I just found it hilarious, it was just beautiful to watch and I think it was just certainly the making of it is just incredible. Um, and besides a few featurettes we've also got a gag reel in there which is I'd say really funny. I was um, had moments where I was crying and I had to rewind it because I was just like crying with laughter and I was just like no I'm gonna have to take that back again because you kind of miss things so the gag reel certainly is a good fun and I had to watch the gag reel and I just kept thinking you know, you had James McAvoy just coming out with his beautiful Scottish accent. Uh, you've got Hugh Jackman just being delightful and funny as always. And then Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen just being absolute gems together. Because you watch the gag reel and it's amazing because these two are like busy mates. So <laughs> when somebody goes wrong and you just see like Patrick Stewart look at Ian McKellen like, what the hell? And it's just a beautiful moment to watch. And then, you know, you've got the beautiful Jennifer Lawrence whose laughter is just infectious. So yeah, I really did enjoy watching the special features of these. The only thing that I was really disappointed with is the rogue deleted scenes are nowhere to be seen on this. So a little bit annoyed because it seems like they're going to release another one, which is the rogue cut. So a little bit annoyed because now I feel like I need to spend money again <laughs> to check out the Rogue Cut but that's just a word of warning so if you are expecting the deleted scenes of Rogue on this baby it isn't on there. Overall I'd say for the sake of a couple of quid get this one it's just the cover art is a lot better and it has all the same features as the standard blu-ray so for a couple of quid get the beautiful cover art. <laughs>